Hey, Leonard Quilty back with another episode of Motivation in a Moment. Hope you're doing well today. Got a quote today from author Herman Hess. He once said, Oh, you who sit over your full cup and do not drink, tell me, for whom are you still waiting? Yeah, that's a question. For whom are we? That's a great question. For whom are we waiting? You know, that, that question reminds me of of a famous saying by the American inventor Thomas Edison. He once said, if we did all the things we are capable of doing, we would literally astound ourselves. Yeah, he didn't say surprise ourselves. He said astound ourselves. Uh, I don't know, you know, maybe maybe we're all waiting for someone to kind of like push us, like push us over the edge, if you will, to the edge of our greatness. You know, the way I see it, we hold the key we hold that gilded key to unlock our potential. But I really, I think it's a matter of getting out of our heads and getting into our heart. But how do we do that? I think how we do that is we create a, a sense of urgency. You know, we, we, we grab the bull by the horns and take massive action towards our highest priority goal. That, that's how we do that, you know, get out of our heads and into our heart. We actually take massive action on a daily basis. You know, it's, it's as simple as that, really. You know, but Jim Rohn once said, you know, what's easy to do is it's just as easy not to do. So my question for you is, what will you do? Here's something to consider for action items over the next few days here. I want you to, I want you to list three of your skills, three of your best skills, and then choose one of those skills and then take one step forward this week on developing that skill, becoming better at that skill. So one of the skills that I'm, I'm working on is, is being a better leader. You know, I've got, I, I, I'm, really, I'm, I'm really excited about developing that skill a little bit further, or a lot further. And one thing I'm going to do this week, I'm going to read one book, another book, The Way of the Seal by Mark Devine. Think like an elite warrior to lead and succeed. So I want to become better at being a leader. So that's one thing I will do this week to to enhance that skill, to further develop that skill. So you know. So my question to you: What will you do? What will you do in the next few days, the next week, to to develop one of your skills that you listed, that you focused on? Hey, you can do this. I believe in you. And don't forget, every moment matters. Make yours count. You take care. Bye bye.